Hey guys, it's Christy. I'm here with another Make a Card with Christy video. Today I'm going to be using this Life is Good stamp set by Lawn Fawn. This is one of the new releases. Super adorable set. We're going to be using the Lighthouse and we're going to be doing some water coloring with Distress Inks. Um, this is a little bit more of a time consuming card so there will be parts of it that I will show you live and parts of it that I'm going to speed up. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd walk you through the steps anyway from start to finish. So to get started, I've got uh, my lighthouse mounted on an acrylic block and I've got two sheets of the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and then I've got a whole lot of distress inks. So um, I'll go ahead and show you. You don't need to have as many as I do. I just like a lot of shading on my cards so I use a lot of similar colors. You could certainly achieve a similar look um, just by diluting down some of the you know just pick one green, one yellow, one red, one blue um, things like that. But anyway I have peeled paint, mustard seed, wild honey, fired brick, festive berries, Salty Ocean, Chipped Sapphire, Dusty Concord, Seedless Preserves, Black Soot, and Pumice Stone. So those are the inks that we're going to be using today. And the first thing I'm going to do is take some Versamark. We're going to be doing a couple different embossing steps throughout this card. Like I said, it is a little bit more of a time consuming one, but I think the res results are so worth it. So we're going to take one of these. And I'm just going to take one of my anti-statics tools, especially because um, I'm using the rougher side, the side with more tooth, and because I think it holds water better. And um, because it has all those little divots, you really don't want your embossing powder to stick in those or fall in those and stay. So I'm just going to press that down with the Versamark. And then I'm going to go ahead and emboss that one in black. In this video, I will be using black, clear, and white embossing powders. And we did a pretty good job there with uh, that anti-static tool, but there's just a little bit of grains here that I'm going to very carefully remove. And now I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss this. My embossing tool is on the other side of the room, so I'll be right back. All right, so that lighthouse is embossed there. It's all nice and shiny. Another thing I could mention if you wanted to cut corners would be that you could just stamp this in a waterproof ink such as the Ranger um, or the Versafine Onyx Black. You could do that and then just stay in the lines very carefully. The thing that's nice about the black embossing is that it does help the watercolor to stay in the place where you put it. Um, but that is an option if you're looking to save time. Okay, so now we're going to take a pencil and we're going to just do kind of a rough sketch very lightly of a cliff so that we can cut this out and pop it up onto our watercolor piece and it will look like it's in the foreground and the water will look very distant and far away, which is what we want. So all we need is just a rough shape, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and start to watercolor this area here. And um, this is where I'm going to speed up the video. I'll try to show you the, uh, the inks as I'm using them. And uh, sit back and, and enjoy.
Okay, so our lighthouse and cliff are done. I'm going to go ahead and trim these out for the next step. So we've got our lighthouse all trimmed out, and then I just went around the edge with a black marker just so none of the white watercolor cardstock would show through. And now we're going to get this lined up on our card here, and we're going to mask off the light. So I've got some post-it paper here and I'm just going to tear off just the parts that I need and we'll go ahead and lay that underneath to form the light pattern that the lighthouse would make. Okay, so there's that side. Okay, and then I'll just finish that off with one more sheet, and I'll just keep lining that straight towards the outside edge there, and there we go, we've got that all masked off. Now the trick to this part is that you don't want to use too much water because it will seep underneath if you do. Um, so we're going to use a little bit less water with our distressing. And now we're going to take the mustard seed and the wild honey. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to speeding this up uh, for you. happy with that you can let that dry or you can heat it up with a heat tool before we move on. So now in order to preserve this yellow color because if we were to watercolor a night sky over this or near this it would muddy um, because the blues and the yellows don't mix. Um, it would just make like a green, a muddy green. So to preserve that I'm going to clear emboss these um, light rays and I'm just taking my Versamark ink pad and smooshing it and then I'm going to take some clear embossing powder and I'll just sprinkle that over top Okay. and now I'm going to heat emboss this and then I'll be back to show you what that looks like. So our sun rays are all embossed, or our light rays rather and the next step that I'm going to do, it's optional, but um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a couple of stars in the night sky. You just want to take any uh, little stars. I'm using the ones from the Love You S'more stamp set from Lawn Fun. I have the small and a large. And I'm just going to put those in the Versamark. And the reason we didn't do this ahead of time is because the stars would not show up in the light rays. The, the light rays are going to be stronger. And so... Um, I just wanted to make sure where my lights, you know, those rays were going to be before I added any stars. So we'll just add a few here, here and there, anywhere you think. Not too many. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. And these you can emboss in either clear or white since the paper is white. I'm going to do it in white just because it's a little bit bolder. Okay, so our stars are embossed. You can't see them yet, but you will as the uh, distressed ink gets applied here. So now I'm going to be doing the night sky and I'm going to take a number of the blue colors. And again, I'll speed this up because this could take some time to uh, play with.
Okay, so there's our night sky. And while that's drying off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and start with the sentiment. I have just a piece of black cardstock here. I'm going to do a sideways sentiment for something different. So I'm just prepping my cardstock there with the anti static tool. And then I'm going to take the sentiment from that set, which is You Brighten My Life. And I'll ink that up with my Versamark ink. Okay. And I'm going to emboss that in white. All right, so we've got all our pieces together now, and all we have to do left is assemble the card. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Tombow Mono Multi, and I'm going to put that on the back of our sentiment strip here. And that's just because the Tombow Mono allows for a little bit of wiggle room so I can get that placed exactly how I want it, right up to the edge. So I'm going to put that on our card front. right there okay then I've gone ahead and put some foam tape on the back of our panel and I did use quite a lot um, because that paper had, was so saturated with water it did warp a lot so the uh, foam tape will help that to flatten out a bit now I'm just going to line that up okay get that all pressed down into place there and now we can take our lighthouse which I have also um, covered in foam tape and then this should line up right in the bottom corner here okay compress that into place there and I have a little bit of overhang so I'll just go ahead and trim that off and that's our finished card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watercoloring this super cute uh, lawn fawn card. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.